<clears throat> and welcome along to Adobe After Effects Tutorials. Um, right now I want to do something a little different with you. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about pre-composing. Now it's a bit of a, a strange scary word. Let's think of pre-composing as simply groups and that's pretty much all they are anyway. So we're looking here, I'm just going to break this file down to you, you might have seen this already, this file, but it's got just a number of layers doing different things. So I've basically got uh, some text running up and across via the timeline using keyframes. And I've got this, uh, this lady in the front here dancing away like that. So there is four layers in total here. Okay, so as we go along and start to build more complex animations, um, things can get confusing if they aren't already. Um, what I'd like to do here is just show you something. So I'm going to come along here and highlight all of my layers. And I'm going to come down here and pre-compose. And pre-comp 1 is going to be uh, simply a collection of all those layers and all those things that we've got going on in there. Um, and I want to move all the attributes into a new comp, so it's basically going to be a new comp. And I could name it, but I won't, and I'm going to say OK. So what I'll see is that all of these layers now with my current timeline indicator going are all still working, all still doing what we thought they were going to do. But now instead of having that it's given us one layer that we can work with and if I double click this here this will take me back to the original setup so I can still make any edits here if I felt that something needed to change at all that will be updated back in my pre-comp go back to uh, comp 2. So they're back at my comp and all of my things are going in fact. Why do you do this? Well it keeps things neatly on the screen and not only that I can perhaps duplicate this composition so I could have um, another version of it on top of the other. So perhaps that's the kind of thing uh, you might want to do I don't know, I'm going to push that over there and we can see. So now I've got two of the things happening together. So pre-composing, very powerful, very interesting, and it will certainly help you with your workflow when working with big and complicated images. So I can have any number of things going on in there, and we get some very complex and yet easy to handle animations at the same time. So that's pre-comps. Remember to use those when you can, and your life will be a lot easier. So thanks a lot. Bye now.